Welcome back, Motorheads. This is Project Car Finds on Facebook Marketplace, and this week, take a trip through Iowa. A uh, first old 1952 Chevrolet for $12,000. This little Chevy here is rumored to have a nicely built 350 with an automatic transmission and a great running little car. I have to say, this is probably the first time I've seen a 1952 Chevy that somebody went and took and made a pro street out of. Well, overall, this little car doesn't look to be in too bad a shape here. What you can see in the picture, the car does not have a big bunch of dents, big rust holes, or anything like that. So, overall, I think this car might be a pretty good little solid little project car. Is it worth $12,000? I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. Uh, next, a little 1970 Plymouth Duster for $7,400. This little Duster here has a title. It also has a Dana 60 narrow rear end on a Ford Link with a 318 automatic currently in the vehicle. It also says he has a 440 available. Unfortunately, not a lot of pictures to go on, but the ones that are here, the car doesn't look to be in too bad a shape. And if you're looking for a good little drag car project, this might be the one for you. Up next, a little 1955 Ford for $10,000. Seller states this one here runs great, but it hasn't been started in about three years, so we'll need a battery and some gas. Also, the antenna in the driver door does not open. Well, hopefully the engine's not stuck in this one here, but over a course of three years of not being started, a lot of things can happen. Now, looking at the pictures, the car doesn't appear to be in too horrible of shape. I wish they'd put a little bit better pictures of it so we could have really seen the sides of the car instead of from these angles here. But, do you guys think this car is worth $10,000? Leave it in the comments. Me, personally, I don't think I'd give $10,000. Uh, next, a little 1968 Ford for $3,600. Seller states this one here runs, needs a battery, interior isn't decent, but floors need some help and has a clean title. Now if you're in this body style galaxy, the price might not be too bad for you. From the pictures, the car doesn't look to be in too bad a shape. There's a little snappy right here in the right rear quarter, as you can see here. So if the seller's being truthful and it runs, this may make somebody a decent running driving project car. What do you guys think of this little galaxy here? Do you think he's got a fair price on this little galaxy? Would you pay that? Leave it in the comments. Uh, next, a little 1969 Dodge Super B for $10,000. This car here is rumored to be a number matching car with a 383 with a 727 automatic transmission. Now, if this is truly a number matching car, this thing could bring in some good money. However, the condition on this car to bring in that kind of money, I don't think is there. This little Super B is in pretty rough condition. If you look, the quarters, at least the back half of the quarters, they're shot, so it's going to need some quarter panels on it to do it right. Also, the front end of this car has got some heavy damage on the passenger side front. There might be some structural issues there as well. Some possible frame damage up there. I don't know. What do you guys think? $10,000? Would you pay ten dollars for that car? Leave it in the comments. Uh, next, a little 1941 Ford convertible for $13,500. Seller states this one here's chassis is done and painted. It also comes with a rebuilt Buick nail head engine that has never been fired. Looking at the pictures, somebody's really got into the body on this car. It looks like this thing has got pretty much all the body work completed. The floors look good in this car here. Is it worth 13.5? Possibility, yes, because you don't come across the 1941 Ford convertible, factory convertibles very often at all. What do you guys think? Uh, next, got a little 1951 Hudson for $7,500. Seller states all the lower trim is in the trunk of the car, all the glass is good, it's a solid car ready for restoration. Now, if you like the old Hudsons, they are getting a little harder to find, especially the two doors. Overall, from what I can see here in the pictures, the body does appear to be fairly solid. So, with all the parts, if he's got all that stuff and the glass is good, is it worth $7,500? Eh, I got my feelings on it, but what do you guys think of that $7,500 price tag on this little Hudson here? Would you give him $7,500? Leave in the comments what you'd pay for it. Uh, next, a little 1956 Ford for $8,800. Seller states this one here's got a 289 automatic and it runs and it moves and the brakes are kind of sort of there when they want to be. From the pictures, the body doesn't look to be in too bad a shape. Now, the chrome, that's to be desired, because if you look at the chrome, there's a lot of pitting and some rusting going on on the chrome. And let's face it, the 50s cars, they look better with the chrome. So you're definitely going to be sending a lot of things out to the chrome shop, getting all that replated. But overall, the interior is not bad, but it's definitely going to need some work as the seats are starting to rip. What do you guys think of the price on this car? Would you give him that for this car? Leave it in the comments. Uh, next, a little 1971 Dodge Demon for $10,000. This one's got a fresh rebuilt 727 transmission with a 383 that keeps popping head gaskets. So with that being said, there's definitely something going on, whether it got some warped heads, got a warped block, something up there is not right. That's something you're really going to have to get into if you were to purchase this car. But I would consider, with everything going on, I think uh, I would be putting a new engine on the list and adding that to my total cost of getting into this car. Next, I got a little 1958 Packard two-door for $1,500. 
Not a whole lot of information about this old Packard here, but I think these things are kind of cool. They're kind of fugly. Actually, not just kind of. They are fugly as hell. But you don't see them very often. You damn sure don't find a two-door hardtop running around very often. I think $1,500, somebody ought to rescue this car. It is missing a few things, so you're going to have to put some things and some your own spins on it. But I think overall, this thing will make one hell of a cool little classic cruiser if somebody took the time to save it and brought her back to life. What do you guys think of this old Packard? Uh, next, a little 1952 Chevrolet Bel Air for $19,000. Seller says, nice gasser, lots of new parts, need to sell, or best offer. Now, for the end of the gassers, this one here actually doesn't look bad. I think it's a pretty cool little car. Is it $19,000 cool? I'm not quite so sure of the $19,000 cool. But overall, the pictures, the body does appear to be in fairly solid shape. And like I said, if you're into gassers, this might be something right up your alley. What do you guys think of that price? Would you give $19,000 on this little gasser? Leave it in the comments. Up uh, next, a little 1970 Dodge Challenger for $8,500. Seller states three motors to choose from, one or all. Body does have some rust, but an easy fix. They also can finish this car for you for an additional price. Looking at the car, it doesn't seem to be in too horrible of a shape. The body's all there, it looks like. It doesn't have any big major dents or anything like that that's screaming out at me, but I do see the rust there in that quarter panel there, and I definitely see some rust on the roof. But, you know, any kind of car that had a vinyl top on it, you're going to have a lot of rust issues. I like the looks of them with the vinyl top on, I'm not going to lie, but man, that vinyl top just really wreaked havoc on the metal underneath there. Any kind of moisture got under there, you had a lot of rot. I've seen it time and time again over the years, and man, it's a mess to fix. What do you guys think of this little Challenger? Uh, next, a little 1956 Chevrolet for $15,000. This little Chevy's got 350 with a 4-speed, new carburetor, new air shocks, and also comes with a complete front clip. If you're into the old 56 Chevrolets, you'll probably like this one here, but I will say this one here still needs a lot of work, and for what they're asking for this one right here, I don't see $15,000. I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. This one here still needs a lot of metal work. One, it needs a trunk, as you can see here. It has no trunk floor. You straight C in there. You see the speakers, all that good fun stuff. Up next, got a 1950 Studebaker for $17,500. This little Studebaker here is rumored to have a 6-liter LS turbocharged and a lot of other go-fast goodies under the hood. This one here is going to be the project car find of the day just because you don't see a Studebaker with that much attitude very often at all. I think these old Studebakers are cool and the fact that somebody decided to go ahead and put a 6-liter in here, turbocharge it, pro street this thing, I think this thing's awesome. Do I like the price? No, but he's got a lot of good things under the hood for that price. Leave in the comments what you guys think of this one here. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked today's video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one.